nations out of their country. Do you support Brazil's decision? Spain's decision. Spain's decision. All over the world, governments are refusing this heinous, idiot company who thinks that they can put biological chemicals into our food in the guise of healing us but really, it's delivering brain control to our children. Chemicals in Monsanto. No, baby, no, it's loose my home. Hey guys, I'm here with Donna, the main organizer of the March Against Monsanto. How are you doing? I'm doing wonderfully. How'd it go? It went great. We had a giant turnout. We, we were blocks and blocks long. People were just shocked and so surprised when they saw how huge we were. It was amazing. What does this march mean to you? Um, this march means that we have a great activist community in Boulder. We have a lot of people who actually know what's going on and who care. And um, it means to me we are going to get genetically modified foods labeled in Colorado. What uh? What does what's Monsanto in your head? In my head, Monsanto is probably one of the most dangerous corporations on earth. They have incredibly unstable um, genetic material that has terminator genes, which means they actually cause the organism to become infertile. This is a threat to the to the entire gene pool, actually, because we found they found that the genes are getting certain genes are getting transferred from the. Uh, from the actual genetically modified foods into the organisms in the soil, and those are getting transferred. If you plant non-GMO seeds after GMO seeds have been planted, some of those genes are being uptaken by the clean, by the heirloom seeds. This is very disturbing. I mean, there's there's evidence they're being uptaken into our gut, and that we may be producing Roundup pesticides, be taking these ger terminator genes into our bodies. It's it's absolutely terrifying, and they need to be stopped. So, uh, is what's up with the United States? Uh, what are they doing about this? Uh, are they just sweeping it under the rug or what? Well, um, our, our president, uh, Mr. Obama, uh, when he first ran for president, he promised he was going to get genetically modified foods labeled, but then he turned around and made vice president of Monsanto's public policy, uh, Michael R. Taylor, food czar, food safety czar, and then he helped him get appointed a senior advisor to the FDA. So it looks like mostly the U.S. government is um, protecting, actually, Monsanto. They, the Monsanto Protection Act, it's not the official name, just passed. Uh, basically, it says even if a, even if a judge, you know, they find out they're super unsafe, super dangerous and judge rules you know you can't plant these anymore it's illegal for you to stop them from planting the seeds even if a judge rules that they can't be planted any longer it's crazy wow so this is all very interesting um can where can people find more info about it mainly like do you have a blog that you maybe uh are proactive with or um, well, we're, we're actually starting up uh, activism in, Col in uh, Boulder. You can go to righttoknowcolorado.org um, if you want to get involved in the GMO labeling law, if you want to volunteer or donate money. And um, you can email me at uh, Boulder, I mean at March Against Monsanto Boulder at gmail.com. Um, and if you want to get involved, I'll definitely respond to you, send you any information we have. We are getting together a local group, we want to call it Homegrown, um, to share food, to get people <laughs> organic seeds. And what? And also, uh, there's farmandfieldtotable.org, which is also another food share, local food share, allowing getting organic food to people. 
Cool. Well, it's a pleasure meeting you, and thanks for everything you do. Thank you so much. And is this just an annual thing, or? Um, I we don't know. This is the first one of its kind ever. It's historical. 42 countries around the world, over 400 marches. It's really amazing. Well, that's great. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Hey guys, I am here with Art, and uh, Art Drake, is it? That's correct. Yep. And uh, what do you got going on here? Basically, this, is, uh, this refers to a website that will give quite a bit of information about what, what has happened uh, in terms of studies of genetically modified organisms. Uh, it involves mostly rats that were fed the different types of corn uh, from Monsanto and the results of those tests and I recommend that you go there and read it for yourself and make your own decisions about whether or not you want your liver and kidneys removing pesticides from the food you eat. You cannot wash these pesticides off of the food. Every molecule of, of your corn syrup has uh, glyphosate in it. Once glyphosate has been used, it is absorbed into the product, it is in every molecule of it, and the only way that you get it out is courtesy of your liver and kidneys. Now I'll tell you what, I got better things to do with my liver and kidneys than removing glyphosate. Thank you. <laughs> sure. This is uh, B-I-O-L-S-C. B-I-O-L-S-C-I, it's biologicalsciences.org. And then the uh, slash. Uh, that's volume 5, VO5, page 0706.htm. Oh, great. Is, do they have a link right off their homepage, or do you got to type that all in there? Uh, you got to type that all in there, but it's well worth the effort. I, uh, I think you'd, you'd enjoy it. Cool. What do you think about Monsanto? I don't care for anybody that wants to keep everything secret, okay? I don't like it in the government. I don't like it in the county. I don't like it anywhere. If you need to keep some, something secret for, for 30 days, that's fine. After that time, it's obsolete anyway. So why make everything a secret? Once it becomes a secret, uh, everybody is in trouble. So uh, can you give no, us an example of a secret you're talking about? Or take, I guess it's... Take a look at the, take a look at the national, national budget. It says 52 cents out of every dollar in that is for defense. How much of that is for black ops and what's being used? You don't know. What are the ingredients that are being used in fracking fluids? They'll tell you in a broad base, Governor Hickenlooper will tell you it's safe to drink, but you won't catch Governor Hickenlooper drinking it. Well, there you go. Thanks a lot, Art. It's great to meet you, and uh, thanks for getting the word out. Alrighty. And uh, go to that website. <laughs> Hey guys, I am here at the March Against Monsanto, and I am here with Dale, is it? Dale Lannan, yep. What do you think, man? Tell us about it. Um, um, it took millions and billions of years to establish the um, biology that, um, of, the, um, of the Earth. Um, the, the genome has been in um, development all that time we created the um, the oxygen atmosphere that we breathe is is due to um, to life forms um, billions of years ago um, that transformed it but we've got a there's a real problem um, they're splicing that thing 
they're splicing the genome. And, and the Devonian, at the end of the Devonian, there was a, an extinction event where, where the continents came together and there was really what amounted to an invasive species um, extinction. And this, this, um, this wiped out a lot of uh, DNA that was in progress of, uh, of developing into new species. And it wound up over a long period of time into one of the largest extinction events. We, as humans, have initiated every single uh, method of extinction that there is. And it seems like we've done it in record time by tapping and burning all the oil that we can get our whole hands on. It's awful. So if somebody doesn't know what a GMO is or a Monsanto, what, how do you explain it? Well, a, 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 gen a genetically modified organism is one that has been spliced or modified. You can bring across portions of a, of a DNA sequence and inject actually into the DNA of the new, new species actually that's created. And you can bring across things from animal to plant. You can actually create um, organisms that, that create um, 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 herbicides and, and, and stuff, and also things that shorten the, and, and disable the, the, the seed to re, of the plant to reproduce. And that's, that's caused, it's getting away, it's gotten out into the environment and it's gonna go nuts on us. It's just, if it hasn't already. So when you talk about getting into vegetables and stuff like that, it, it actually gets airborne? Well, the pollen carries it, and it, it, it gets around, and then, and then the seed gets distributed um, um, through natural processes. Um, it's not bound by, by uh, fences or, or any, anything. It just, it just gets away. It's just an, um, it's an it's a form of increasing entropy and heat rise really on Earth. We, there is, there is a, a serious, but we, Earth is essentially dying. Um, we, we have to, as a species, come together and make uh, change happen. And I've been online trying to womp up some sort of effort to do something for a while now. Where can people find you? Well, you could Google my name. My name is Dale Lannan, L-A-N-A-N. -A -N -A -N. And, um, and you got a website with your name on your with your name like that? No, I'm too busy reading stuff and writing stuff. I seem to be pretty good at changing the subject. If there was anything I was, if if I ever was to go back to school and get a higher degree or something, it would be probably in changing the subject. <laughs> well, it almost sounds like uh, you're talking about some kind of alien food or something now. Uh, is it good for you? What, um, what, what, what do you say to Monsanto if they say it's good for you? Is it good? Uh, it, I don't know. Well, what happens is when a, when a super, superly um, a, um, vivacious plant crop uh, occurs and it produces a way more food, let's say, than another species, then all the other species that have, uh, all the other um, varieties of that food crop um, get left behind. And since the, the environment is being trashed out, the understory of the forests and the fields, the natural fields and everything, are getting wiped out and the plants aren't getting produced for farm uh, agriculture uh, uh, native peoples and stuff then a lot of these are lost for all time and the 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 drug the the the, the resistance to to pathogens that are out there a disease that's out there goes way down and then with the environmental stress that's on everything else it's vulnerable new stuff is moving north and and there's getting to be real trouble food the fight the cost of food rising is beyond the point where it causes um, disruption and, and, and rise of violence in the world. In fact, there, the Arab Spring and both the Occupy Moon were, um, were in part caused by really getting to the point where there's a price tag on everything in the world and, and, and the, the globalization. It's, it's, we have to make a fundamental change in order to alter the system um, to keep Earth alive. And I have suggested tapping something known as Act of God to link the value of money to alter contract law and, 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 um, 
and do it with, with um, worldwide effect and sudden application, relatively sudden application, specifically designed to, to keep Earth alive and to support those types of industries which would, which would benefit that cause. And I think it could be, if it's done at scale worldwide and, and, and with, a, with an eye to, to do no harm, I think it would, would zoom up the economies of the world like nothing else could, and it would give hope and keep hope alive. It, it would allow every single person to, everything they do in their daily work, their daily lives, would, could be turned towards the purpose of trying to reestablish the open systems of nature. So it really comes down to just a, bit, a, a general ecosystem thing. Like, it's not good, right? <laughs> well, yeah, and the Monsanto thing is, is huge. Um, it's a worldwide corporation. It's a mega corporation, and it's in all continents, and it has, has, has a finger on everything. If they make one splice of a gene into something, they think they own the organism, and it seems like the courts, which seem to support the status quo of the economic system, Worldwide, um, this this whole thing they seem to like support that idea. I is say, it just, whoa! Uh, is it just Monsanto, or is there other companies that we can look out for? Well, there are other companies, yeah, for sure. Um, the um, you know the entire uh, fertilizer comp um, used to produce the the crops to support the the huge population on Earth of people. A lot of that comes from um, from petrochemicals and urethra and stuff, and it's um, the um, it to wind this down and to do it peacefully and to actually really have a chance to keep the Earth alive is going to take more than a little bit of effort. The Arctic, the Antarctic, and now above the Himalayan plateau is showing extreme high methane levels at altitude, indicating methane clathrate is melting out, methane hydrate ice in the permafrost and stuff. And there's enough of that stuff to do us in many, many times over. And the, time, the speed of re release and what's happening, it looks like it's self-sustaining now. It's really wicked. And I'm not kidding. The sign I made here earlier, um, I'm not kidding that the Earth is dying while Monsanto is slicing and dicing. You know, they're slicing and dicing genes that are, and DNA that, that took billions of years to produce, and we and the Earth's biome is in jeopardy of dying. Earth is in jeopardy of switching to moist runaway and a change from a type M planet with oceans alive. Yeah. Well, guys, there's a lot more to it. Thanks, Dale. It's great to meet you. Oh, well, you're welcome. And uh, there's um, yeah. a blog site that's yeah, really cool, cool um, to look at and to come up to speed if people want to know what's happening with um, with Earth's temperature rise and increase of entropy. It's Arctic News Blog. Arctic News Blog. Arctic it's News uh, blog. Sam Prana's blog. Cool. Well, we'll keep an eye out for your research out there. So you're in the You've been doing all the internet stuff, right? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, but I'll well, we'll keep an eye out for you. I worked as a carpenter, so. <laughs> Thanks, man.